Hello everyone, it's Rio CloudSync. In today's session, we'll take a look into access packages within Entitlement Management. Entitlement Management sits within the Microsoft Entra Admin Console. If you as administrator can navigate to entra.microsoft.com, it will bring you to the high level dashboard. Let's first understand what access packages are within Entitlement Management. If we can click Identity Governance and then select Entitlement Management, it will take us to the dashboard for Identity Governance. On the left-hand side, un under Entitlement Management, you will see Access Packages and Catalogs. If we select Catalogs, this will give you the ability to create a new catalog. So let's first understand what a catalog is and what an access package is. Well, an, an access package enables you to do a one-time setup of either resources or policies for both your users internally and externally. Everything you configure within the built-in catalog or the custom catalog will trickle down to the access package. And within that, you could distribute that to your users. Please bear in mind, all access packages must be in a catalog, so they must reside within the catalog itself. A catalog acts as a container. Catalog defines what resources you can add to your access packages in essence. For example, if I, if I add in a SharePoint site within the general catalog here, that will then trickle down to the access package I create in here. Okay, And with that, I would then either assign it manually to a user or use the internal or external functions which Access Packages gives you to assign to um, identities. From a role perspective, like I said, you, you, you will need to either be an Identity Governance Administrator or a Global Administrator to be able to access the Identity Governance pane. In terms of managing the, the actual Access Packages and Catalogs itself, um, you, you will either need to be a global administrator or catalog owner. Um, that will allow you to manage resources within the catalog and add new resources within the catalog itself. If you are granted the access package uh, manager role, that will restrict you to only using the resources um, derived from the, the global administrator or identity governance administrator itself initially. So let's let's take the steps in creating a uh, access package alongside a catalog. Within the Microsoft documentation, it will take you through creating an access package first and within that, creating the catalog. I'm going to take you um, around the other way of creating a catalog first, then an access package. Okay, It just makes more sense. So if we select catalogs, you'll see it's given you already built-in uh, catalog. You'll see on the description it says built-in catalog. Uh, within here, you can see I've been uh, amending this. Um, for testing purposes, with that I've added two resources and it's an enabled state so it can be used. I can send out the URL to either the internal user or the external identity and they can utilize this, this, this package uh, per se or container. If I select new catalog, it will ask me to give it a name. In this instance, I'm just going to give it technology AP for technology access package. Okay. Or oh, sorry, access catalog, maybe. Makes more sense. With that, I'll just copy and paste that into the description. Okay. You can you can define that description. Maybe uh, you want to present this to the end user accepting the, the, the package itself. Uh, then by all means, uh, give it a bit more of a, uh, a granular description. But in this instance, I'm just going to call it the technology AC. Enable yes or no. Okay, do I want um, personnel to be able to request access to this catalog? and use access packages um, coinciding with this catalog. If yes, then select yes. If no, then, then select no. Um, and do I want to enable this for external users um, or internal only? Um, I have the option. I'm going to select yes in this case for both instances. If I select create, that will select, uh, create my catalog. You will see it appear straight away. If not, select refresh or F5 in your keyboard. And with that, you will see the name technology access um, uh, catalog here uh, with the description. How many access packages are associated with this one catalog? Um, the amount of resources um, uh, defined for this catalog uh, per se, and if it's an enabled state or not. If we click on the, uh, the catalog itself, it will give us an indicative of who created the catalog. Is it enabled? Is it enabled for external users? created on which date you can see it's created today and you will get a unique identifier which is the object id in this instance 
We can see we've got no access packages associated with the catalog as of now. However, we'll go through the process of creating that access package. That's not a problem. For example, if you don't define uh, the resource within the catalog itself, um, you as an administrator do have a, an option within the access package to um, pull resources into the catalog itself, or you can define it from the catalog um, by selecting resources and uh, adding resources up here from SharePoint sites, applications, um, as well as um, uh, groups and teams. We can see the access packages um, associated with this catalog itself. Um, once again, we can create a new access package here or create it in the pane, um, the, the previous pane we was in, and we can associate it with the catalog. So we can select access packages here and select new access package, and with that, it'll give us an option to associate it with the catalog. If we go back to the catalog itself, we can then assign roles and administrators. Like I said, we can assign a catalog owner, we can assign a catalog reader, an access package manager, and an access package assignment manager. You could probably indicatively under, you know, get what an access package assignment manager is going to do. You're going to be able to assign the access packages to particular users um, within the catalog itself. Um, a catalog owner can manage the resources and add new resources to the catalog, um, and a package manager can only manage resources which are already been defined by the catalog owner. Uh, we do have options to add custom extensions. Maybe there's workflows uh, you want to append to the, the, the access package itself, i.e. when someone requests an access package, it's been approved, either it has to go through an approver or maybe a sponsor. As and when it is approved, maybe a workflow is sent, maybe an email notification to another person to say this person now has access to, to these ed resources. And by all means, you can use that. And you do have a reporting section as well to be able to look up individual users within the catalog and see what access packages they have been granted previously. If we go back, and we go back another uh, one more time, we can select access packages. If we select new access package, we can now call this technology AP for access package. And once again, we're just going to copy this. So our access catalog is called technology AC. Our access package is going to be technology AP. With here, we now get an option to select our, our, our catalog, so our container in essence. With that, we want to select technology AC. Like I said, you can create a catalog from multiple different places. We can create it within here, we create it in the previous pane as well. We want to select next to, to resources. This is where you would uh, define those three resource types in terms of um, what you want to include in the access package per se, uh, either groups and teams, applications, or SharePoint sites. Like I said, if you didn't define it in the catalog itself, only you as an administrator can add it within the access package. If you're not an administrator and you're trying to, to assign resources which aren't defined in the catalog, then you won't be able to see it. For example, if I select groups and teams, once again, nothing's defined within the catalog itself. So when I select users, groups, devices, you won't see anything here, okay? However, I, I do see this tick box because I am a global administrator and, I, and I've also got the identity governance administrator assigned to myself. If I select this though, um, I do get an option to, to search for groups and I can define this by selecting groups um, and I can see all the groups defined within this organization itself. Uh, with here, just for uh, testing purposes, I'm going to select autopilot devices. Maybe I want to create an, uh, an access package for an external provider to be able to uh, see all my autopilot devices. Okay. With that, I believe this is a, a dynamic group, and I will show you as and when you um, add dynamic groups to a um, access package. Um, Oh, this one is not, an, this one's a assigned group, sorry. Uh, but there's one thing you do need to know uh, as and when you do uh, define a dynamic group within the access package, you can only give it the owner role. You can't give it the member role. Uh, so please remember that. Uh, but this one is a static group in which I have to physically assign it to either users or devices. I'm gonna select owner though, in, in this case anyway. And with that, I'm just gonna uh, provide the access to the autopilot device group. I want to then select requests. Um, so who can request access? Am I looking at users only in my organization? So your entry ID directory, users not in your directory, okay? Maybe this is B2B users, so business to business. Maybe you're inviting guests into your organization. 
or an external provider, for example, or maybe none. Maybe I just want a direct assignment only. So as and when I go into my catalog and access package, I assign this to Z user within my directory. In this instance, I'm just gonna select users in my directory. Uh, it just makes it seamless for the demo. And with that, I get to select uh, as well, specific users and groups, all members, excluding guests, uh, all users, including guests. Um, in this instance, I'm just gonna select spe specific users. I'm gonna select add users and groups. And I'm gonna type in my UPM, which is admin at, I'll select Rio Hindu, select. And there you go. So I'm given access only to uh, people in my organization, my directory only, and I've selected myself. Do I want to require approval? Yes or no? Um, in this instance, if I did set yes, I could select require request of justification, okay, as well as require approval. I can have up to three stages of approval, i.e. I can, I can have a notification sent to either three different individuals or maybe I want three different time frames in terms of the, uh, the request expiring. If I was to select one stage and one stage only, I do get an option uh, to either uh, pick a manager as an approval or choose specific approvals. Um, you may see sponsors. Uh, there are two types of sponsors. Um, I, think, I believe one is internal, one is external and you can set the, the sponsors within the entry ID um, user profile itself and with that you can obviously select throughout the list who has what uh, property assigned to them however in this case it's just manager's approval um, I would select that even I'll select a fallback um, personnel as well however in this instance I'm not going to select a uh, approval I'm just going to select no um, and I do have an option to then enable new requests. Um, I want to select yes, because I want to be able to request this access package as and when I hit the create button. Um, and there is an option to require verified IDs as well. Uh, verified IDs is uh, was currently in, uh, was in public preview, it's now in GA. Um, it, it's about verified IDs, uh, decentralized, so decentralized identity, okay? Making sure it is who, it, who you say you are in terms of requesting access, um, not through your identity per se, but through a physical um, identity card, um, also through biometrics in, in some instances. So if we select next, we then have an option to either ask for a question to capture information as and when the requester does request the access package. It could be as simple as, where are you located? So we can select this. We can have a local localization. Maybe if it is multiple choice, you do have to select multiple localizations. So you do have the drop down list. I.e., if I select multiple choice, it will ask me to select localizations and pick English and then add the text. So I have multiple choice. If not, and I only want short text, I just need to add the one. Where are you located? I can add a local a localization if I wanted as English, um, preference language wise. Um, however, short text, I'm just gonna keep this simple. I'm gonna make this required. It's just for data capturing uh, requirements. We've then got life cycle. So do I want this access package to expire or not? I can select on a particular date and time, and I can select when the assignment uh, expiration date um, is. Number of days I want to expire. Maybe I want it on an annual basis, number of hours, or never. In this case, never. Um, and use request specific timeline. Um, no, I don't want uh, the users to have the ability to request their own timeline. I just want them to be assigned it and it never to expire as and when they've um, requested it. They can remove it themselves per se. They can go into my access and and, and, and remove. Um, however, uh, from a high level perspective, I just want it to, to be assigned to them and them to have access. And from access reviews perspective, maybe um, there will be a case in the near future to review access on all the access packages assigned to personnel um, in which we can go through the annual bi-weekly uh, review frequency. Uh, we can give it a start date, we can give it a duration and we can give who the reviewers are in that instance. There is an option to also show the advanced settings um, in, in which it will uh, give us a, a bit of a workflow indicative of if the reviewer don't respond, what should I do? Um, should I take up uh, the recommendations or remove access? Um, in this instance, we want to select review, uh, require access as no. 
um, and then it will take us to the custom extensions. You do need to define the custom extensions within the catalog itself. Um, their workflows, they're tied to logic apps. Um, this is just a straightforward um, demo and creating a, a real basic access package. So if we just press review and create, it will um, summarize our, our um, configuration, which we're just gonna hit create. It will validate our configuration. And it will say the access package is created successfully. Like I said, it will give us a unique identifier, which is the object ID, who created it, uh, what catalog is this associated with, and if it's hidden. Um, in this instance, you can see the My Access Portal link here. So if we copy this, um, say for example, I did assign this to either um, someone internally, in this case, because it has been configured for an internal user only. However, if I did set it to external or for a B2B user, um, I can send this link over to Z Personnel. And with that, they can open up their uh, browser, type in the URL, which I've just copied, or sorry, paste it, and they bring it to, to the My Access page. Um, in which you will see the, the question I've defined, where you're located, I can put London, business justification, not required, however, I can just put um, require access uh, for um, work. I can request access. In this instance, there isn't any uh, approvers, um, so it should just go through. If I hit refresh, We get to request history, status, deliver them. So you may have to give it a few minutes, um, but it is being delivered to, to Z user as there is no approvers. And we can see pending history if there were if there were to be approvers. And you can see any access reviews as well, along with the access packages. Um, there we go, we can see it's been delivered. So if we do go to access packages now, and we see of uh, active, and uh, that should change to active. There we go. It's now active. I now have access uh, through the admin at UPN um, to the autopilot device group. And there's no end date as I defined. And I could, like I said, I can remove access. Okay. Um, any questions, please do let me know. This was a very cut down um, look at access um, packages. However, if there, is an, if there is a requirement for more of a detailed look at access packages, then by means I can create a video. Thank you very much.